Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And this week I am going to be reading with my brand new deck. It's called the Hezekos Tarot. And it is an awesome, awesome, gorgeous, gorgeous, unique deck. So I'm just going to start by drawing three cards. And I just want to get a little bit of a snapshot or an illustration of the upcoming week just so we can be prepared for the upcoming energies and the challenges and opportunities that are going to be coming up for us this week. So the first card is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, and we've got the King of Rods. Now, the King of Rods has a very... Um, He's a very mature, sort of masculine energy, and I feel like he's very much about action. So I'm getting two um, possible meanings popping up for me here. One is that someone in your life who um, is kind of like that, so who's an older male figure who's very, very much in control of himself, um, perhaps very driven, very um, sort of success oriented, very passionate, um, that person is going to be playing a bigger role in your life in the next week or so. So you might be collaborating with this person on um, like a business project, something to do with work or creativity, um, or it could be a family member that you're just spending more time with or you're um, dealing with particular um, issues or challenges surrounding that person. The other um, sense I get from this card is that you're being asked to kind of step into that role, um, the role of the King of Rods, so the role of being a leader and the role of taking action, maybe inspiring other people around you, and also the role of being very mature and self-contained. So whether it's at work, at home, um, with your friends, uh, I'm getting the sense that the more you exude those kinds of characteristics and the more that you sort of tap into that part of yourself who's like the King of Rods, and we all have, um, you know, that part of ourselves inside us, um, the more focused you're going to feel this week and the more success you're going to have with your particular endeavors. Okay, so moving on to... The middle of the week so Wednesday Thursday and we've got the ace of coins and to me the ace of coins is all about new beginnings uh, so starting something new whether it's a new project a new job um, a new place to live I often feel the the coin suit or the pentacle suit is all about um, you know physical things so home you know where you live your body so you might even be starting like a new diet or a new eating plan or a new exercise program um, this week and I know I've just <laughs> said a whole bunch of stuff you might be moving you might have a new job um, <laughs> but this is all about you know uh, starting starting fresh starting new things um, new adventures and with the ace of coins I get the sense that you're going to be really successful um, in anything that you start right now provided that you're able to really connect with this energy of the king of rods so i think seeing yourself as an authority figure um, in your own life so not necessarily an authority figure in general um, but seeing yourself as the authority of your own life so stepping into that role um, as being you know in charge of your life um, whether or not you feel like you are an authority figure, whether or not you feel confident, um, this is about action. So you might have to act from that place of um, the king before you actually feel like him. So before you actually feel really in control and confident, you might have to, you know, do a few um, action steps and um, things like that. Um, Okay, so let's move on to the end of the week. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, this is so weird. We've got <laughs> we've got two court cards and an ace. And this is so strange that we've got the Queen of Rods. So we have the King of Rods and the Queen of Rods. This really feels like 
a real um, balance between the masculine and feminine aspects of the suit of rods. So I want to talk just sh quickly about the suit of rods and what it's all about. Um, in some decks, it might be referred to as wands. So rods and wands. Um, these are. This deck is about career, passion, focus, being driven, but not driven in an unhealthy way, but being driven by passion and by clarity, not just being driven to, you know, like achieve things blindly or accumulate stuff, but being really driven to go forward with your purpose in life and feeling, feeling very much empowered and clear about your purpose. So if you've been having doubts about this kind of thing lately, I feel like this week you're going to have a little more clarity around that and you're also going to have a, a lot more clarity around action in terms of what action steps you need to take. But I feel like the king and queen are almost challenging you. I mean, they're both staring straight at you and I feel like they're both challenging you to really buckle down and get focused. So. Um, if you haven't been feeling focused lately, right now, get out a piece of paper and a pen and just start making notes about um, what areas of your life you want more focus or more clarity in. Um, and even jotting down things that you would like to do, maybe things you'd like to not necessarily achieve, but um, things that are important to you, things, you know, things that you want to pour more energy into. Um, another th message I'm getting is I think some of us tend to waste a lot of time and it's totally, I think it's totally okay like, you know, using time to just contemplate and not necessarily do anything. But you don't want to squander time. So if you, if you, if you're worried that you're spending too much time, you know, squandering your life away, like watching TV or just like surfing the internet or whatever, worrying about things. Um, now, you know, this week is the time to really, you know, buckle down, get clear on um, what you want to change and where you want to focus your energy because it feels like the energies are, are almost kind of uh, lining up so that you're, you have this real potential that um, whatever you focus on and what effort you make is going to have 10 times more of an impact than it normally would. So you want to be really clear and certain that you're, you know, focusing your energy on things that are important to you and your, your thoughts, you know, you're thinking about things that feel good for you um, or that feel worthwhile to be thinking about. Um, because there's a lot of power this week, and especially with the Ace of Coins in the middle, it's almost like a target, actually, now that I'm looking at it with the, um, with the rings, it's almost like a dartboard or like a, a target. Um, and I, so I feel like this week is all about focus and clarity and um, figuring out what that target is, because there's no sense being all action-oriented if we don't know really what it's all for. Um, you know, so don't take action until you are somewhat clear on what it is that your what your target is, what you're what you're trying to do. Um, so yeah, a powerful powerful week for us. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick step back, see if I notice anything else. I'm sensing a lot of green in both of these cards, and I mean green is all about new growth. Um, which again, you know, goes with the whole ace of coins. But my, my, my biggest suggestion is to really put pen to paper and write out, you know, what you want to be focusing on right now. And I'm going to take my own advice because I've lately felt very sort of scattered and unfocused, which is how I normally feel. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to take my own advice this week. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, put pen to paper. So I invite you to share your interpretations in the comment section below or even come on over to my blog. I'm going to put the link in the about section of this video. Come on over to my blog, check my blog out. I've got, right now I've got um, a tarot challenge happening on my blog. So each month I post a, a reading and I invite you to um, interpret the cards kind of like I'm doing right now. So once again, feel free to share your own interpretation of this reading. And my name is Kate.